Well, now the big challenge before the Pune police is to find out which is the group responsible or who are the individuals who did this. Well, to talk more about it, I have with me the commissioner of Pune police, Mr. Gulab Raupul. Sir, it's going to be a big challenge before the police. We have already seen that the German bakery blast case has still not been solved and now the series of blasts. No, today, four low incidentally explosive uh, explosions took place particularly at uh, Balgandar Ranga Mandir and thereafter on Jangli Maharaj Road. From the low intensity blasts, we think there is no involvement of terrorist group. There may be some other groups which are not related with the terrorist activities. And the intention may be missing and to create panic in the minds of local police, public. Okay. Sir, the person who has got injured and he has been admitted to the hospital is being said that he is the person who was keeping that. So any information that you have got so far about that person? No, that person is uh, by name Mr. Patil. He is a resident of Uri Kanchan. He is uh, working as tailor here only in this Jangli Maharaj Road area. And he has uh, sustained minor injuries. Our team has gone to interrogate him. So after interrogation, we may get further clue. Sir, uh, after this German bakery blast, there was a lot of talk about uh, upgrading the security systems, installing CCTV cameras. Uh, anything about that has happened? At some places, at the instance of local representative of people, CCTV cameras have been installed. Even some businessmen, they have also installed CCTV cameras. Even government offices also, concerned government departments, they have also installed CCTVs. Sir, now, big challenge before you is the Ganesh festival is coming and everybody knows that Pune celebrates this festival in a very big way. How are you going to ensure that this festival passes off peacefully? See, we have to take all possible precautions. We have to take help of local public. If there is public participation in police work, I think the festival will be peaceful. There will not be any problem. So we have to motivate the people. We have to contact them. We have to establish better rapport with them. And we have to take their help. In addition to that, we have to he take help of different government departments like municipal corporations, cantonment boards, Jilla parishas, local representatives like MLAs, MLCs, MPs, Rajya Sabha Sadasya, corporators, then different organizations, different Ganpati Mandals, their office bearers. We have to take help of each and every organizations in the city. Uh, sir, as a commissioner of Pune Police, what is the message that you would like to give to the people of Pune to maintain calm, to ensure that they do not uh, touch any unclaimed object? So our appeal to the public of Pune is that if they see any suspect person or suspected object, then they should not touch it and they should inform it to the nearest police station or police choki or to the, our control room or even senior officers on cell numbers. Sir, were there, one final question. Were there any inputs about a possible terror threat to the city? In routine uh, manner, we get uh, inputs on a regular basis. And my appeal to the public is that they should not be panic. They should not believe rumors. If they have any problem, they should contact the police or any other government agency to get it clarified. Thanks for talking to NDT. Thank India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app, fully optimized for retina display, full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.